So how long have you guys been on this channel anyway? Do you remember about a year plus when Casey Neistat was in New Orleans to do a film and I was like, So, I'm here in New Orleans, and I'm here for like, I think one day or two days, I'm not sure. My Dude, are you kidding me? You're in my neck of the woods. Casey, you're in my hometown. Like, literally, I know that hotel that was behind you. I know the parking lot. I was just there a week ago. <sighs> well, look, I just saw the movie yesterday, and it was really, really well done. Great actors in it. Casey did a fantastic job with his silver screen cameo appearance. Um, the role fit you well, man. Just because you you look the part. Totally worked, man, and you absolutely sold that knock into the window just fine. <laughs> so look, speaking of New Orleans, so many things are up and down changing for us. We've all had a life-changing experience with this COVID-19 crisis. Now, I'm calling it a crisis now because um, there's not too many self-employed businesses that I know of that are not being affected some way, shape, or form from this. So when a company reached out to me about doing a review on one of their products, I was like, well, let me see what it is, see if it fits my mantra and what I believe in, and will my heart and soul be in it to even talk about it. I'm a firm believer in that. And it, this is really awesome. It's a daily planner. So if, if you're like me, it's so much easier when you have a way to write things down. And if you're also like me, sometimes the order of how you put things on the page isn't clear. Um, having some help or a guidance for doing that means a lot to me and my workflow. Sometimes my creative brain isn't made to organize everything perfectly clear. So my body and soul can absorb what I need to do, maybe in the order it needs to be done for the day. Well, this is a little daily planner, and it's not a regular notebook daily planner. What I do like about this is that the very first thing you do, first thing you do, man, is talk about your gratitude. Now, if you understand how important it is to say thank you, not only to just people around you or to people you love, but to tell the universe, to tell yourself, to tell everything about you, your own little world, thank you. You should do that first thing in the morning. As soon as you wake up, like, what are you thankful for? You know, what am I, what are you giving gratitude for? Write that down. To me, this little section, is kind of like my theme for the day, you know? Gratitude is so important. Now you have your top three things that you know you have to do today. There's always three things that are more important than anything. Sometimes it's your honeydew list at home. Uh, sometimes if it's completely wor work related, you know there's always three top items, things on your checklist. You, you gotta just get out of your system and then the rest of your day can be experienced and lived as it should be. That's really important, man. Now, I also have Google Calendar on my phone, which is wonderful. But sometimes it's nice to just kind of turn that page and look. I can see on, on one page what has to be done for the day. I like that, you know? So as far as appointments go, just write it down. You know, how many appointments do you have in a day? This is really cool. So going on the aspect of, hey, let's live a healthy life, especially in the times that we're living in right now, it even has some health goals to kind of throw on here. Now you may skip these, you may, you know, something as simple as how many glasses of water should be, you, you should be having in a day, you can check that off. I know I'm probably not going to do that, but knowing that it's here is really cool. Um, so at the end of the day, you've got something called today's wins. That's cool. At the end of the day, it kind of has a repeat of your beginning of the day gratitude 
You know, you're starting off the beginning of your day on what you're thankful for, what are you happy about in your life, and at the end of the day, what are your wins? You know, what came out of your efforts and your work? Maybe some seeds were planted being helpful and nice to somebody in the past. Maybe that bubbled up and came forward today and somebody referred you a job that would have never had existed in your lap if it didn't come from something very small maybe you did in the past. Um, that's a win. That's a big win. Besides that, this is a daily planner you should look into. And since they gave this to me to review, there's a link at the bottom of the screen. And I would love to hear in the comments how has it helped you in your daily process. You know it will. Because if you're not organized or you need help being organized, you're looking for something like this. I like this. I really do. So a question I get a lot lately is, uh, how is your business doing? How is everything since your move? What's going on with weddings and events? How are you surviving? Uh, it's kind of sort of pretty often because everybody's very aware of the restrictions that we have upon our events and it is making it extremely difficult for many of my friends in this industry to make any money. And that's from florist to wedding planners, to bands. Bands can't even play right now, yet you can walk into a restaurant with the mask on, sit at your table, take it off, and go about your business. I don't understand why a band that is 10 feet away can't play. I don't get it. I really don't. There's a lot of questions I have about this whole thing, but hey, I'm not in the government. I don't make the rules, but I do need to follow them. Um, there are many things that I know what to do as a business owner of 26 years that we have been through Katrina, we have been through the market crash, we have put ourselves in the same position as our clients. And I can tell you, this, this pandemic was no different. We were here for our clients. Um, a handful of our brides had to move their dates, had to reschedule, and thankfully, we found dates that worked for me and them and also their other vendors that it, it didn't really miss out. But it's that camaraderie of working together, that communication skill is so important. So if you're a new photographer or you're just a new person in business in general, um, if you don't know your industry, your community, you need to go meet people. And, you know, back in the day we had conventions and we had seminars and they still have those things, but it's, it's very different today because anybody with an Instagram account, Twitter, and, you know, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it, you can get in front of people, but that isn't the same thing as having a drink and having a discussion with somebody and them working with you, seeing your expertise, seeing how you work with your clients because they will match you in your service with theirs if they feel like it's a good fit. That's something social media cannot bring to the table for other local industry people. Now, I have 26 years of doing this, so I have many friends of all different genres and we are constantly Every once in a while, email and maybe a text out the blue. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Just staying relevant is so important in this time frame with this pandemic because it is going to get better, okay? And you can't hold your breath and wait for it to get better and the phone's going to start ringing again. This is your test as a business owner. If you can survive this and be prosperous, you can survive anything. But first you need to get through this, and it's not holding your breath, it's being proactive. Which is why I like this little daily planner, actually. Uh, I was going to turn it down as far as, I'm not sure if it's something I need to really show or talk about, but as soon as I saw gratitude on the top, I was sold. Because we need to be thankful for so many things. If you're looking at this video, you're alive, man. Be thankful. Say it right now, in the car, behind your computer, your home. Where are you right now? Just say it out loud. Thank you. But be sincere about it. Thank you. For real. Thank you for being a viewer of mine. If you hit play and you made it this far, I'm proud of you. Uh, there's some more treats to come. 
but I know how hard it is right now for everybody. And as difficult as making this move was for me with my new studio, it's probably a, one of the best things that's happened to me in a long time because you know you need a fresh start. You need some way of doing something different just to give yourself a different course of your life. You know, a different change. Take a left instead of a right. Um, in this case, it was forced on us. The pandemic forced us to do a lot of things that we were not expecting to do. So I ask you, what are you doing? <laughs> How are you making it with this COVID thing? If you don't follow my boy, uh, Kostas Lazanas, he's with uh, Opa Greek Tavern. Uh, I'll put you his link down below. He's somebody I met when I was first introduced to uh, Cody Warner. He was over there, and him and I have been friends ever since. But the reason why is because we're also business owners. He runs a restaurant. I run a photography studio. But how you manage your business, manage your people, manage your clients, that respect that you give, we both know that's how you get it back. We just do. So getting through this pandemic, I don't think is really the extreme hard part. The hard part is actually once things get moving again, are you ready to get moving again? Have you been working? Have you planted your seeds? Have you been doing your posts on your social media? Have you been reaching out? Just saying. If I asked any of these questions and you didn't have answers every time I asked one, maybe this video was meant for you. You know what I mean? So what have I been doing lately? Well, first of all, I'm a little backlogged on some footage to share with you. Um, one of my first weddings since the COVID lockdown was actually these two wonderful, awesome human beings. Their engagement session was so much fun. I couldn't wait for their wedding. So their wedding day came, and I know it was a much somber experience than I had planned, but it did not take away how awesome they are as human beings, as a couple, and how much fun we have together, regardless of all this ridiculousness happening right now. That's what I'm calling 2020. Ridiculous. But you gotta see these guys. So this is Ryan and Peyton. You remember them. You remember them. It's the best vlog I had like all year. You ready? You ready? Their husband and wife. Alright, make Too sure cool. make sure you like, like, subscribe, hit that bell, get the notifications yes. on the videos. You'll know every time they upload. Yes! Right, let's go. Dude, dude, do what he says, man. He's a groom. You need to. This Friday is the continuation of a wedding. We recently did the ceremony from a change date because of COVID. And this is my girl, Lauren. In the comments, let me know how you guys are moving forward. What has your daily life been about? And what are you used to now that we were never used to before? I don't know about you, but I am totally fine with wearing the mask in the grocery store. That should be a thing from now on. The whole five feet behind me while I'm paying my bill, that should be a thing from now on. There's a level of respect that is now being introduced, and I hope that becomes the norm. I also think the flu season is going to be a lot smaller and shorter and fewer cases because of how well we're doing to protect ourselves against the big bad boy called COVID. All right, your thoughts, put them in the comments below. Uh, next video, I'm going to be explaining this awesome constant light, the Godox SL60W. It's really cool. This isn't even as bright as it goes. All right, you guys, I know it's difficult, but it's also very important to stay focused on your dreams. And remember to hit subscribe so you'll know when the next fun, positive video for me is out in your inbox. And you hit play. 
And if you think somebody needs a daily planner that'll keep you positive daily, share the video, share the link. Do what you do. All right, subs. Peace.